Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm going to work on my napkin journal and I have this very beautiful uh, napkin uh, sent from all the way from US uh, from my lovely crafter friend. So thank you very much. Uh, I will. It will be a delight to use this beautiful napkin. I removed the backing first and uh, my plan is to cover the bottom part of the uh, page uh, with all these flowers so I'm just going to cut it in half and uh, stick it to my page with matte medium you know, all the way through. Uh, the idea in my mind is uh, to create a garden of these flowers. If you are wondering what I am what I am using as a, a napkin journal and how I am making it, I have a video that I showed step by step how I created this napkin journal. So I'm going to uh, put it on the cards uh, on the screen, and I'm going to put the link down below at the description area so that you can see it. After sticking my uh, napkin, I'm going to give a little bit color here and there. Uh, there won't be a huge need to blend this napkin into the page so much. I'm using my Arteza paints uh, from the 60 color collection. Uh, again, I'm going to uh, put the link down below where you can buy it. I also have a code that will give you a discount, uh, which I'm going to put on the screen and down below at the description area when you buy from the links. And to complete my image, I have this very cute ladybug from uh, Elinizinski Art Shop. Uh, it's a digital stamp that I downloaded and printed. Uh, I'm going to cover it with a matte medium first uh, to color it with my Faber-Castell brush markers. Uh, you will see why. I dry it very well uh, before I color it. Uh, and it will be really easy to give color this way. I didn't want to spend so much time uh, coloring it. Uh, that's why I'm using these markers. I also have a discount code for Elena's shop on Etsy, uh, Umut June, for the month of June. Uh, so uh, I will put the link down below at the description area again for you to check it out and see if you like anything. I absolutely adore her images. They are so cute and uh, original. This uh, ladybug was one of my favorites. So when I saw this uh, napkin, uh, I immediately thought of this ladybug uh, with uh, red colors uh, to go with that uh, beautiful garden. I'm just uh, giving color uh, to the rest of my girl. I did some shading with a tone of red uh, and a darker shade. And uh, I'm using this uh, lime green uh, at the body and I am just uh, coloring her hair with brown. Uh, I'm not uh, paying so much attention to details in the coloring because it's a small image uh, and the colors I'm using are uh, colors that will pop uh, bright colors uh, and that's all I want uh, and I want it to match the uh, flower garden that's why I made the body lime green. And uh, I'm just using normal uh, flesh color, peach color, uh, to color uh, her face uh, and also give a bit of uh, darker shading again. It's a really a simple image to color, so you can use whatever uh, coloring tools that you have, uh, pencils, water, watercolors, whatever you feel comfortable. And now I'm going to uh, use again the paints uh, to complete the image before I stick my girl. I want to extend these uh, green uh, areas a little bit uh, upwards uh, but in a very light way. So I watered down my acrylic paint again from Arteza. Uh, you see how bright it is. It's a lime green color. And I uh, took a little bit olive green. Uh, to again uh, go over some areas. I'm, I want a sort of watercolor look. Uh, so I'm just uh, spraying water as well to uh, play with my paint on the page just randomly. And I let it drip a little bit. I didn't water it so much not uh, to sip through the spine. And I will dab it uh, like this. And uh, I will uh, take a bit of the paint that I have on my table uh, to give a random again watercolor look uh, on my page. This way uh, nobody will understand there's a napkin here it's completely blended in and I'm going to stick my uh, ladybug now. 
I didn't cut uh, the legs and arms. I'm going to draw it uh, back. But my aim is uh, to make her totally get lost in the uh, among the flowers. So I don't need the legs actually. Uh, you will see that uh, I will uh, use a part of the napkin to put back uh, on top of the ladybug to make her get lost among the flowers. But before I'm using this black marker to give back the polka dots and uh, to use uh, to make the stripes uh, uh, for the rest of it. While I was sticking I wasn't so careful so her eyes got a little bit stained with paint. Uh, and I wanted to show you how to get rid of it. Of course, we can't use baby wipe <laughs> because we will damage it. So I'm using a little bit gesso, white gesso, to go over the uh, eyes to make it white and bright again. So this is a little tip. I will also cut a uh, tear of some uh, napkin, the same napkin again, uh, to go over uh, my ladybug and. Uh, uh, stick a little bit over her like this uh, so that I uh, it's like she's standing among all the flowers I didn't do much to make this napkin get lost among the others because as you see it blends uh, very well anyway uh, maybe I used a little bit red uh, paint and I did some splashes uh, on the rest of the page with uh, dark green uh, so that there is uh, harmony uh, and uh, unity in the page. I drew back the arms and I had these little uh, ladybugs in my stash uh, probably from a local uh, art shop uh, maybe the works uh, if you are in UK uh, and uh, I just stick, uh, stuck two of them uh, in the two pages and I'm just drawing these lines uh, as if they are flying around this is just to add another detail and interest to my page. I think they look super cute. And I'm going to use my uh, black marker to draw a thin line of uh, a border all around my pages. Couple of details. I will do my uh, white splashes to enlighten the page a little bit. Also with my Uniball uh, white gel pen. This is broad tip. I always use the broad tip. Uh, I will do some highlights on the girl uh, in the hair and uh, on her body, the wings. And uh, I will find a sentiment in uh, Tim Holtz's uh, chit chat collection. This one that has black and uh, white uh, small chat uh, sentiments. I chose uh, make it happen. Before I finish, I decided the arms were getting lost a little bit. So I'm going to make them thicker with a thicker marker. Uh, so they look uh, much better now, more prominent. And also I will do the same for these lines uh, so they don't get lost. Because there are uh, green splashes, they get lost a little bit. But now uh, they are there, <laughs> more visible. And of course I couldn't help myself to draw more. And while I'm at it, uh, it came to my mind that I have these gorgeous uh, glitters from Arteza. So why not add uh, some glitters uh, to make it shiny and bright uh, a little bit more uh, uh, at this part of the page. So I'm using a little bit matte medium. And I chose uh, the color uh, lime green, no, mint green, uh, which is a really bright uh, green. Uh, I have these... Uh, Arteza glitters uh, in a set of 48 and I'm going to give you the link down below again you can use my discount code uh, to purchase with a cheaper price and the price is very uh, economical for 48 colors anyway and they are so shiny and bright uh, and again good quality you will see uh, in a minute I will show you I literally uh, started to use them for everything and here is the page with all the glitters. I love uh, how shiny they are. The ladybug is super cute and uh, I really love the contrast of green and uh, red. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like or uh, leave a comment down below for us to have a chat. I really love that.
forget to use your coupon codes for Arteza or Elena Zinski Art Shop. Links are down below. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.